The speaking test is 20 minutes. There are 8 tasks in speaking test. Please try your best to complete each task. My colleague's name is Mr. Roger, a good colleague is dependable, empathetic, trustworthy, organized, dedicated, and respectful. Roger has all these qualities, he is always calm, even when we have a lot of work to do, working with someone who is proactive and solving problems is a real treasure. He is one of them, he always supports me, supports me, and helps me in every work we do. Hello Sam, hope you are doing good. I heard that you are thinking of quitting your job. My friend doesn't do it, I have done the mistake of resigning the job trust me, it's not a good idea, I know you are a little frustrated cause of your boss I know from the very beginning you have always wanted to set up your own enterprise, but leaving your job is not the solution. To start up your own enterprise you really need a lot and a lot of money. As far as I know, it's only two years since you are in an international software company, so I don't think you are financially that strong. Leaving your job is all your personal decision, 
but it should be planned out well, quite only when you have some sort of income or your business is already profitable so that you could really grow business. Otherwise, you will end up in debt. Think wisely before choosing anything. There are even risks in setting up own enterprises. Competition risk, sales risk, and others, whereas working as an employee provides stability and the security of steady income with less risk. Most entrepreneurs fail due to financial problems. Don't you ever forget that you have a family to feed? Last week, I enjoyed a wedding ceremony with one of my friends. It was held on the occasion of another friend. This enjoyable ceremony took place in their village home. Really it was an attractive ceremony. The whole house was festooned with colorful paper and flowers. There was the illumination of multicolored electric light around the house. I was pretty sure that this wedding experience is going to be my best wedding experience. On the day of my marriage, the house of my friend was tastefully decorated with multicolored flowers, bunting and balloons. In the evening at about 4 p.m., some ceremonies prior to the departure of the Barrett were performed. The Barrett reached near the bride's house. The Barrett received the heartiest reception. Everybody was putting on his best suit. The wedding feast was full of pleasure, laughter and hearty conversation. I met many of his relatives which felt really good. The farewell scene of the bride was very pathetic. Then the newly married couple got boarded on a green-colored car and started for the residence of the bridegroom. The marriage will remain forever in my heart.
The above picture is a picture of a swimming pool. A swimming pool is a tank or a large basin that is filled with water and intended for competitive swimming or diving. In this picture, it seems like it is summer season and people are visiting the pool. There are a lot of people diving wearing swimming suits. It seems like a water park. There is even a platform where many guys are standing. All of them are wearing shorts and are rushing to dive. I think that platform is for people who don't know how to swim or it can be for resting purposes, or the guys standing there are playing a game as whosoever falls in the water first will be out. Some people are even wearing life jackets as they don't know how to swim. There are even a lot of people in the water, in the water who are wearing swimming goggles, and they seem to enjoy it a lot, as compared to the platform there are even more people in the water. The man in the yellow t-shirt standing on the platform is pushing the man in front of him. All the people standing on the platform are just pushing each other, it seems like it is a pushing game. It seems like a sunny day, people are chilling, swimming, and diving in a pool. It is a clear picture of a swimming pool with a lot number of people. After some time the pool will be empty people will leave the place and will go to their respective homes. The platform at which some people are standing will dive into the water, then again they will go to the platform they will keep doing it until the time is over. The man with the yellow t-shirt is pushing the man in front of him after some period of time the man in front of him will fall into the water, it seems like the people standing on the platform do not how to swim. Some people are already in the water and most of them are wearing life jackets as they don't know how to swim. People will leave for, the will leave for their respective homes after the swimming time is over. The next day some people will visit again. The person who cleans the pool will come early in the morning and will clean the pool. He will the used water and will fill the pool with fresh and cold water. People will come again in their swimwears to enjoy themselves in the pool.
Dear Roger, I carefully reviewed both options and I think you should purchase a car that costs around $5,500 as it's a family car. It is ideal for planes and short distances, as you are looking for a short distance and you are going to use this car in a city. It has more mileage and comes with many brands. It has also many service centers. Also, many people generally prefer to use the family car as compared to a Jeep. On the other hand, the Jeep costs $25,000 and it comes with bigger space. It is easy for tough terrains and has less mileage and comes with fewer brands. Moreover, service centers are not easily available and available and very few own them. Though the car comes with less space and is less durable. But still, I think you should go in the family car. Hello Roger the first came to know that your friend is suggesting an electric car. Yes, it is a good option, and it has many good features like no noise, safe in the city, easy maintenance, no competition and it is very unique. But still, I think, you should purchase a family car, because of a number of reasons. To begin with, family cars are cheaper as compared to electric cars. Family cars are more powerful and provide more torque. Also, it's much easier to find parts and local mechanics for any common problems. Also, charging an electric car takes a much longer time. On the other hand non-electric cars are more convenient, you can easily refuel and be ready to go. So, I think you should go in the family car. Hello mom, how are you doing? Hope you are doing well. Mom, our college is hosting an international championship and it is really necessary for me to be there as I am in the reception team. 
I know after a very long gap of five years we all are going somewhere together but I can't go as you know I was the one who was very excited about it but believe me our college suddenly announced it and it's really necessary for me to be there. This championship is literally very important for me to attend. As our college principal has appointed me as the leader of the reception team. I need to take care of food items properly. I need to take care of every guest regarding the drinks and food. So please understand that it is quite impossible for me to go with you. But I have an idea what if we go on a trip after the championship, I will be literally free and would definitely come with you, don't you think it's a good idea? See if at all I will go with you now no doubt you will take me with you but I will not be able to enjoy fully cause my heart and mind both will be in the championship. Please understand my situation I am really stuck and can't do anything about it. Hello guys, I want to discuss about something. Our family is going on a vacation after a long vacation of 5 years we are going to Niagara Falls and it is really very important for me to go with them. I know our college is hosting an international championship and I am the head in the reception team. But believe me guys I will not be able to attend that. I even tried to talk to my parents but they strictly said no, I tried my level best to convince them but nothing really happened. We were planning for this trip from a long ago, I am really very excited about it. So I just don't want to miss this chance. I hope you guys will understand the situation. I am really stuck between two things and can't do anything about it. As the whole reception thing is on me because I am the in charge of it, I just want help from you guys. Please take care of every single thing in my absence. Take care of every single guest, teachers and others. I will be always available for call. I fully trust you guys. Yes, too many exams in a year really take toll on the health of students. Exams have both good and bad sides but it is how a person deals with it, exams can be constructive as well as destructive. Stress is okay but stressing a lot for exam can really be bad for both mental and physical health, students really stress a lot they forget to eat in time, sleep in time. They only fear and take stress for exams. So a lot of exams conducted in a year can really affect students in a bad way. In Canada there are a lot of students who commit suicide after being stressed, due to exam they lose confidence, they grow anxiety and stress. So it is very clear that exams really have a very bad impact on students. No doubt exams are necessary they are really important for academic studies but too many exams aren't, like they say too much is very dangerous. The idea of too many exams in a year is absolutely wrong cause other than exam students also have other activities to do. Physically they should be fit, they should be involved in every sp sport.
Hello, Roger. I am standing on a snowclad and I saw something unusual and immediately I thought I should share it with you. Before that, let me tell you I am in a really beautiful place here. The road is covered with snow and it really looks like heaven. There is really a very big tree which is covered with snow and looks even more beautiful. So, I was just roaming in the road with one of my cousins and I saw a man who is pulling his car with the help of a horse. Don't you think it's a new thing? The horse is very big in size and h a v e a white spot in his head. It seems like the person's car needs a mechanic or the car is lack of petrol or the car is not moving properly as the road is fully covered with snow. The car's headlight are on and the man and the man that car belongs to is sitting outside the car. The man is really enjoying it. He is wearing a black coat type dress. Well, the scene right in front of my eyes are not usual, but it's funny. The picture says that even in 21st century man made things still depends upon God made things.